Good morning, everyone. As you watch in this video, it's Bandit's birthday. So let's wish him happy birthday, my golden puppy. And I want to, I just remember that uh, we did not review in, in action this beautiful diamond painting trays that I've reviewed. And they have like a different tray grid for diamonds to stick on it. So I thought, let me try now. I have here number five. I don't really have much of the symbol here. It's kind of like, it's hard to see because it's shaded canvas. But I want to put it here as much, probably all these diamonds, because I want to see how they will layer in this tray. If this is really work. I'm not sure if I should close it and shake it or maybe just as it is, kind of spread them this way first and then we are going to shake and see how this is going to stick in here uh -huh. very interesting kind of get excess so here is how it works we have in here two lines for the two placer two lines three placer two lines, a four placer and five placers. So I have in here, um, I have in here one placer. This one is four placer, this one three placer, but I don't have a wax in here, let me see. Okay, I do have this pen that have a three placers. Hopefully this wax still good. So let's try it and see how it sticks with the three placer. Okay, um, it's keep coming out because this wax is too much or it's not good anymore. Okay, that's an old wax, that's why it doesn't work. But I can do the same thing just to test in here for the, let's say, four placer. And, okay, no, it worked perfectly fine. So I think I will like this trays and the other one they have like a different grids. I've reviewed four of them. So I do have some extra in here, but to get them out, I think would be the best if you don't want to use, because this trays came with the brushes. I think what I would do, I would just like close, let's shake it, let this all go down. And then you pull out this butterfly and it's an exit in here for your diamonds. Anyway, let me bring you to the point where we are going to work on. We're going to work on a cake. Unfortunately, it's not going to be finished because, okay, Bandit, birthday boy, go lay down. Don't you bark, it's uh, people now keep walking from kindergarten with lots of kids. So puppy get excited to see kids. Hopefully not gonna start barking. Let me get you to the, okay, so somewhere in here, and then we're going to, okay, no barking, I'm recording video, Daisy. Go lay down. Okay. And I'm going to try to, Daisy, stop. She's whining by the door, make a loud noise, it's pitchy. Okay. So I will be working with the, I thought I have a different pen. Where's my different pen? I refill it, oh, that's what I refill it. I wanna work with one placer, with this lighter pen. And glasses. Not very good time to record, I guess, because it's a, uh, school's over, going to be lots of kids walking and puppy have to look through them outside all the time but you know what i really like oh i really like how these diamonds separate and in here really comfortable i think to work with the multiplacer on it but i will work one by one so i work on this canvas a little bit last night well, right now, as I record this video, it's October 7, and it's my son's birthday, the one who's in Ukraine right now. 
we tried to get connected on a phone but so far um, he can't unfortunately it's a hot night up there not weather wise but rockets and shelling so he didn't have a chance to give me a call but um, okay I'll have to stay here before I go off the focus um, so maybe I will try to give him call tomorrow but we did spoke on the phone a little bit like not on the phone through the messenger just a few words back and forth and I think I need a little bit more wax for my pen because I just refill it it feels like it's not enough sinking down okay so yes my boys having a birthday bandit and my son one day apart you know if not those diamonds that I had not enough I would finish this but because it was shortage, it kind of knocked my excitement to work on it, to be honest. It just really didn't really want it to work on it till I get the diamonds. But uh, I did receive diamonds, the one that was short. And I will show you now. I already finished that color. And I have lots and lots of left. They sent me a huge bag of diamonds. So now I will have uh, even more if I have some, uh, you know, accidents or whatever I need to do. Shortage for the next canvas. I have tons of extra now. And those diamonds are super nice. They are so glazy and shiny like this one. You can, you can tell. You, can you tell how... And the sun now is coming out on my desk. Okay, maybe I will zoom out a little bit because I'm afraid I'm going to get after focus. I'm trying to cover up as much as possible in this area. Okay, you will feel, you will not feel, you will hear the bandit keep walking back and forth in here. And we just came from outside, so he's still. But he's not happy because he loves to play and roll on the grass. And uh, we'll see how much energy I have to give him bath tonight. Or most likely I'm just going to wait, kind of wipe him with baby wipes or just like with wet soapy towel maybe. Because when we go on vacation, um, he will go to the puppy hotel, so they will give them up there a nice shower and nail trim. So I think that would be even better. So I don't have my shower clumped with the fur. So maybe we're just gonna give him like um, a mini bath just to wipe with towels soapy towel just to wipe to make his fur smell good and shiny okay on this side of the cake yeah because um, it's a little bit confusing this canvas like it really will be nice um, details I would say because there's no like patches of the colors but see how like it's it's shady not exactly like a one color under the symbol it's like sometimes ombre sometimes different color and it's a little bit disturbing because you think you already done all those symbols and then you look you have them more just a different color look like so yeah, that's a little bit confused. That's the only thing that's confusing. And I think I messaged them one time about this, but I don't see changes. So they decided to continue to this way. Okay, 
Okay, can we see more? Yes. It's gonna be okay. I think I need to move my camera now. A little bit more up to this side of the cake. So because to me his birthday tomorrow I will try to do as much as possible this canvas tonight and um, we'll post pictures of something okay I see his truck come now to my driveway so I will be pausing a little bit and change color now I'm change uh, diamonds to number three symbol uh, didn't have a chance to finish all five because that wasn't my husband so I'm just like it was Ivan's cousin they went to work out together so I decided not to waste time and quickly switch color to my next one because you never know who's next gonna show up yes but you know what now I know that we're not going to the campground I will have much more time to record and I started already pre-record video for Wednesday. If you watch my TikTok account or Facebook or Instagram, they all love Craft Forever. Natalia Simpson, I think, on Instagram, but still uh, love Craft Forever. I finished my frame and I moved now to my next frame. I'm so excited and pumped. So it's like, wow, yes, please. So I cannot wait now to start on a new frame and see how many weeks I will do my this uh, new frame for the stitching. So if I'm looking in here, let me just grab a calendar. Today is seventh, as I record. Yeah, so la oh, last week was number fourteen. I thought thirteen, so it was week fourteen last week, last Wednesday. So, so fourteen weeks took me to stitch one frame, which some of the stitching was already done. I'm not sure if I count them for the week first or not uh, but the thing is now I will see how much I can stitch in how many weeks I can stitch frame number two it's kind of like going to be competition competition between myself can I do it faster or not and of course if I put my mind into it I can do faster by putting aside some other designs and more work on something that I want to finish but at the same time by finishing the design not design uh, frame number one now I feel like I accomplished some progress and I would love to accomplish more by working on other designs that maybe I still have a chance to finish this year. We'll see. At the same time, I will have a new start. Mm, I'm kind of pre-recording video slowly, little by little. It's going to be my biggest design ever. If you are new on my channel, I can give you spoiler. It's the I uh, have a nurse design, a village mushroom picnic, village mushroom or mushroom village picnic, some, something like that uh, design and I got a super size with max color of 240. Uh, do you see more of this symbol? See, that's what I'm saying. It's a little bit of this and it's like, oh, not anymore. Okay, I'm going to switch again quickly. 
so this tray kind of it's quicker to switch from color to color because it's easy sliding into the tray I will pick right now number four and because they are kind of like a line up in my box in numerical order so it's easy for me just grab and switch color to next so this one color is brighter still brown because obviously you're working on a cake must be chocolate cake okay here it is uh, color a little bit um, showing you not correct color because of the sun trying to get off my on my desk already oh now I see that I miss one tray in here that's okay it's going to be lots of misses here that I will have to put more diamonds later So because we are doing a burst, they can rest for my puppy. Let me tell you some funny story or terrifying story. What happened to me this weekend when we went camping? We had a um, party. Uh, my husband organized party, like end of the season party. So we brought like a ham, we brought turkey other people brought some salads desserts and like everybody is like a little community little little camping village you know we put the table we block the road next to us um i didn't take any picture or video i, I will tell you why i was too upset so um, we started nice we set up tables right on the road between my trailer and uh, neighbors across the street right so all the road we put a whole bunch of picnic tables and show up maybe like 30 or more people and everybody brought something to the party some yummy foods um, but before we start to serve food somebody let out bandit out of the closure on my deck and here is not coming back to you even if you call him he do not listen command that's why daisy and barry can go on a leash or without leash bandit have to be on a leash all the time i cannot let him run freely because he would go all over and what's terrifying was for me because last time when he ran out he got a seizure I guess from being so excited and he as soon as he get out of the deck he ran across the street to the same puppy because he wanted to see the puppy and I was like I thought my heart gonna stop I thought here we go again we're gonna have a seizure or something else or he just gonna run away off the campground on the road somewhere because he went not only around our campground neighborhood, he went on a top where I go to the lake. He could go to the beach and the water. Uh, he could get out of the campground. And I was so nervous. So after we catch him, he kind of running like crazy back and forth, right? And nobody can catch him. He's fast. Um, so finally till the time i run back to the trailer uh, our friends uh, catch him and put on a deck so i immediately call them inside of the trailer and i was just seven i start crying so hard my hands were shaking after i realized everything's okay he's okay he didn't have any seizure again that was only once hopefully never return but that fear that i could lose him or he can get again the seizure it got me so hard that i'm literally i thought i'm gonna have a heart attack my my heart was popping off my chest my hands were shaking and i was just let it go i cry 
my husband came to the trailer, give me a hug, don't worry, he's okay. I said, Dan, do you realize we could lose him? He could run away in the street, get hit by the car. And who knows how far he can run. He's not listening to get like, he's the most stubborn dog. He still wouldn't let me paw, give me paw, like if I ask him comment, like he is stubborn. So that was like, knock sucks out of me. So when everybody party and stuff, I, I just decided not even bother with the camera. I was too upset to, to do anything. So I'm just make my mashed potato and uh, we start eating food. And after all, it was very nice to have this little community get together. So <laughs> I did the toast and thank my husband for organizing all this. And I say, I hope we can get this as a tradition every year. And we don't have to wait till the next season's over. We can do this gather together on the beginning of the season in May, you know. That's that nobody cancel the parties. If it's a good parties, we can just start with it when we just come over to the campground in May again. Which I'm looking forward to May again. I'm not looking forward to winter. <laughs> Yeah, so that was a beautiful party. Then after that, it was so much dessert. Everybody brought so much food. It was awesome. Then we had a fire at our campground. Lots of people show up. We have lots of good laughs and it, it was nice. It was nice. And then when we came home from the campground already to the house, I was sitting one time doing cross stitch on my, like, and the same spot in here and because ba bandit he's such a my puppy my baby he decided usually he like climbing on my lap and put his two paws and his leg on the ground and he kind of laying on me like play with me don't don't stitch don't do nothing stay with me so the other night he decided he will go climb on the back of my chair, like on the back of me, he climbed on a computer chair behind me with all four legs. So he literally like pushing me off the chair. I'm trying to hold on to it and stitch. And he lay down and sleeping behind me. Like we barely have a room in here on this chair. So that was funny that he decided to sit like this. I say, wow, that's something new. And then Catherine says, oh, he did this to me one time. So I thought, ah, that's what it is. So he already did this kind of trick before. I just didn't know that. So if, to me, that was kind of funny that he climbed on the chair, pretending to be a, a lap puppy, you know. Okay, we have lots of symbol here. I may, oh, I'm going to readjust camera like that because we have... Lots of, it's going to be lots of this color on his fur, obviously, in here. Oh, maybe next one I will pick this number nine. That should be something pinky, I think. Maybe. We want to see that color, right? Okay. So let's just finish this diamonds, whatever I have in here, on this tray. So whatever progress I will make on this design, I will take a picture and post on my on my Facebook or maybe in a group just to show you a little bit more progress uh, because it literally it's like all over. I do cross country by trying to finish color by color so I don't really Kinda you cannot see it until it's done because it's everywhere. I have to go check mail, see if anything up there. To know if I have any unboxings or I'm just going to create some whips and charts. Now when I don't have to go 
to the campground I will have more room more time but at the same time I need to pre-record at least few more videos for the week that I'm going to be not in Canada and I will travel for one week mm, I it's not going to be probably video for every day um, like I'm not promising now but if you don't see video every day it's because I'm not here and I did not have time to record for every day because right now I'm trying to fill in this week video and my next week has zero videos yet so it's not easy sometimes my computer comply very nicely sometimes some glitches and it's not everything goes smoothly you know how it is if you are youtuber there's always some kind of surprises could be i see my battery flashing i'm going to recharge battery and come back with that uh, number nine i want to see what kind of color that is for the pink okay it doesn't feel like it's i don't see it or no I don't see it okay let me change battery and come back with different color here is now our number nine it's a beautiful pink okay see the sun is start to interfere with me a little bit I might have to move a little bit to the side okay let me try it we're going to move to you together with the tripod okay let's see a little bit to the corner in here there let's place this beauty very vibrant pink color oh. and here's what i'm saying look this symbol is pretty pink let me bring you in more clothes you see that and then you have in here same nine See how it's hard to see because it's a brown background and that's what I'm saying it's hard to see them because it's the same symbol but different shading on a canvas how they paint spray I don't know so it's a little bit challenging a little bit challenging okay let's do cake first then we're going to move around to find more colors of this somebody message who message I want to see if that's my son no it's not Well, we think that's a bright shading nice and then a little bit darker background right in here going to okay let me just like put a little bit to the bottom because I have a few symbols in here oh sun went behind a cloud I can see better it's not as bright sun right in my eyes okay um what else see in here like total like the symbol nine literally brown behind that's confusing very confusing but for some reason they don't change 
kind of hard to see yeah. mm. all right go a little bit up Oh, this is candle. Right now we're building a candle for the birthday boy. Oopsie. Didn't stick. What a pretty color. I like to play bright colors. Okay, let's see around. Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see more nine? Oh, another side right in here. There, patch. Okay, so I see there's a more kind of higher, but like a one by one. So it's um, let's get something different that would be easier. Maybe something blue. Let's go with the blue now for the symbol Y because we have them on a candle and then I have them a lower part on a cake. Okay, let's switch a little bit more. Okay, we put the diamonds right back where they belong. So I just need to find out symbol Y, what kind of symbol that is. So usually I go to my paper, it's kind of faster. Y32. 32. 32. 31, 32. Oh, it's a dark, like this one, darker blue. It's like the darker minty family, dark blue, I don't know, kind of mixture, like an ocean water kind of dark, dark. That's what this color about. Okay, we're going to start with the candles and go down. going to jump to the bottom again so hold on to your seats we are going down right here So this blue, I think it's a dish. It's not actual cake because obviously cake wouldn't be blue. So this is probably platter where cake stays on. That's what we're creating right now. As you can see, we have some AB diamonds in here shimmering already. 
We placed them last time. Did we place them together? We did some maybe. I don't know if this blue we did together with you. Okay, one more here. Can you see more? Spy, spy. Okay, move to the next side. Right here. See, that's the only problem <laughs> with this kind of design. It's really don't have a, like a big patches to stay in one spot. So it's a little bit annoying to record video because I have to move my camera all the time. Or I just have to change diamonds all the time if I want to stay in one spot. And to me, it's just a waste of time. For me, it's better just to go like cross country and do all at once. Uh, what else we're gonna do? We have in here a little bit under the balloon, so let's just catch this spot. Just a few. Kind of create a shadow for the balloon, I guess. we will do here let's go back to our cake let's go back to our cake oh yeah so definitely now when I kind of far away I can see that this is definitely a dish and what may be symbol E we're going to or E or F they kind of both on the dish up there um, what would be bigger or R. I don't know what to pick for the bigger place. Let me check. Mm. Let's put, how about R? R25. Okay, that's a pretty yellow, well, brown. Brown, orangey, or orangey brown, I don't know, kind of pumpkin color. Okay, let's let's do it, pumpkin color, and we will do simple R, which is on a cake in here, so I can zoom a little bit more close. There, I'm going to stay stay in this area. Okay, so this is definitely looks like vanilla cake. Or maybe this is just the icing. Now I'm sad that I did not finish this design in time. But I definitely will continue till I do. Okay, more. Not here. We go. We go higher then. Okay, let's go higher. To this part. You know, it's sunny outside, but it's already chilly. Without sweater, it's kind of chilly. I went out in like a, say, a summer dress, and I have to say, it's like, oh, I need something to cover up. It's not as warm as it looks from the window. Definitely need some extra clothing already. That's the saddest part to get start to dress up all this tons of clothes ay 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 I miss summer already 
some people love Splinter, God bless heart, who does those active people who go snow ski and uh, sliding from the mountains skiing and other fun thing they do in the winter for me winter it's a hibernation time you know I'm like a bear okay R R R R Ooh, wax stuck. Okay, I got it. No fear. I saw somewhere. Oh, it's in this part. Okay. Yeah, I took down my nails because unpacking after camping, all that stuff, we kind of like, oh, I hurt the nails. And it's so not comfortable. And just have to do like a whole bunch of laundry because everything we washing after campground and then beds like blankets will go back into the trailer and the seal bags wait for the next season. But there's lots of clean up and all the clothes that was in the trailer I have to wash it even if it's clean but you know. I have to rewash re it, refresh it. Hopefully I didn't bring any spiders from the beach. Oopsie, sorry, I'm already out of the focus. Ay ay ay. Um, okay, so we're going to do now one more color. I think, and that's it. And I will pick something minty looking in here. You know how much I love minty colors. And looks like we're going to have a pretty balloon in here or what. Okay, 25 go on a place. Let me just see what kind of symbol it is. It's like a I or T. I 35. Okay, 35. Where are you? Oh, okay. See? Kind of like a minty colors. And we're going to this corner now. Even I wanted to go after the cake, but it's hard to just stay in one spot. And I have to move this to the shady area. Okay. Here's the balloon. Kind of like a, that's a puppy sitting in here next to it. So I think that's a balloon. And we will work kind of like an eye or sideway H symbol. And look how mixture of these diamonds in here. I don't know if the store accidentally, like the factory mis mixed them, but they are mixture of diamonds in here. It's not the same color, lighter and darker. So I'm just going to place whatever I grab. I'm not going to pick any particular color whatever is in the row i'm just going to grab it it's balloon it's going to be more shady area so it doesn't matter i don't know if that's a purposely blend color or when factory was um, producing new diamonds and try to refill the bags and maybe shading went a little bit off no idea if this is mixture of two DMCs, not just the one. But color beautiful and I'm not complaining about it. Nice. 
I think now like every evening little by little I will be working on this design because I don't want this to be in my whip for a long time because in the winter time it's going to be well no in the spring time or winter it's going to be Barry's birthday start to forget a little bit mixing up with between daisy and body okay did we, no they did not cover yet And then we have a little bit on this side, so I guess we're just going to catch it here. Same. Few here, few there. Can you feel the difference when suns go away? <laughs> How different can this look? Literally change in color when sun's coming out. Okay, I will be finishing here I think now. Okay my friends. Now I want a sun to come on out so we can sh uh, sparkle up a little bit with all those AB diamonds looking good now well done the sun will be here in a minute or in a second let me just put these diamonds away now and my tool we're gonna zoom out a little bit in here okay okay looking better and better going to Put my tools away, my wax in here, my tool in here. Oh, that's the that's the brush for this tray. But what I'm thinking, see, I still have these diamonds. Okay, I still have these diamonds in here, and I put that just to remember what kind of diamonds. So when I will be like try to clean, I you. you Oh, Daisy, what are you dreaming? Or body? You have to kind of this brush, but it's not very easy. See, there's kind of like a stick in those grids, so it's not very comfortable. But what I'm thinking, what I will do when I will close, body, wake up. Is that you sleeping? I will probably do like, like this. Now let's open. Ah, my fingers are not listening to me. Hold on. Okay. Oh, see? Now they are all kind of in here. All I need to do now is just pull out this butterfly and put into the baggie. So I'm just going to leave these diamonds in here and I will work with them tonight. So they can stay in this one. I'm just going to put back into my all containers and uh, work together with them. And that was the spoon together with those trays foldable kind of need if you have to scoop diamonds maybe from containers not from the baggie uh, yeah so we'll put away all this stuff now and when I want a sun to come on out it's not here let me lift my blinds is it coming out is it coming out it's a big cloud up there it's almost almost here just a minute Let's open. Let's open. Can we sparkle a little bit? Oh, 
oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, sun came out. Sun came out. Just a few of the shimmers between the tripod legs. There you go. Isn't that gorgeous sparkle? It's those AB really shining. Um, how about our pinks in here? It's hard to it's hard to show, but obviously it's a super super sparkle diamonds. Kudils has very good quality diamonds. Okay, my friends. Thank you for watching. Happy birthday, Bandit. I love you, baby.